Joined now by the newest member of the New York Rangers, Kevin Shattenkirk. Relief or giddy? What is it? Uh, huge sense of relief right now. It was it was quite a quite a crazy week. Um, but you know, I'm I'm giddy to get to get to get things going. It's uh, the tough part about it now is that we still have about two months until the season starts. And um, you know, this has been a lifelong dream for me. And and now uh, I wish it could just start tomorrow. There really wasn't any other team, was there? There were actually. There were there were a few other teams. Uh, but but in your some... mind, in your mind, Kevin, like it looked yeah. like you were, you were really focused on the Rangers. I was uh, again. This is what what any hockey player I think uh, dreams of. This opportunity to play for the team that you grew up watching, the team you love, um, and you don't you don't get this opportunity uh, many times, if ever in your career. So I felt like this was um, my chance to, to really be able to take that. And, and uh, I, I wouldn't have any, any questions at the end of my career that I didn't get, uh, you know, a chance to play for my, my favorite team. The guys are mentioning that you, that you did leave some money on the table here in term. Yeah, uh, I did. And, and when it came down to it, ultimately that's, those are the questions you have to ask yourself. Uh, what's the most important thing to you? Um, term and money are, are big, but, you know, the opportunity to play with, uh, a world-class defenseman like Ryan McDonough, um, the opportunity to play in Madison square garden every night for a home game, live in New York city, um, and obviously play on a team that I think is very close to winning a Stanley cup. Those are, are factors that, uh, that ultimately won out in the end. Who are your Ranger heroes that fostered this dream? That's now become a reality. Uh, there's there's one for sure. His name is Brian Leach. So, uh, you know, I, I think I took or tried to take a few things out of his game and put them into mine. Um, but if I had to name others, Mark Messier, Adam Graves, Mike Richter, um, Jeff Bukaboom. I used to watch these guys at Rye Playland when I was skating as a young kid and watch them practice. And from that moment on, I, I knew uh, that was where I wanted to be. What do you think of Kiprios' game in Rye? I, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, he was out there doing a lot of bag skates at the end of practice. <laughs> you know, I, I think the uh, Leech, you know, they would, they would come on for about five minutes and Kiprios was doing all the hard work at the end. So I, I admired that about him. That's awesome. Uh, what, do you know what number you're going to get to wear? I don't. I think uh, I might have to have a discussion with Nick Holden and see if we can work out some sort of, uh, of deal for number 22 because that's what my heart's set on. I love uh, hearing this. So much of it is about money on this day, but a dream uh, that's come a reality. Congratulations, uh, Kevin. Thank you. I appreciate it.